Okay, so 251 and C. We've got a D minor. It's, it's the 2 chord. The 5 chord, B, G. The 1 chord, C. 6 chord. general when we have this sort of regression we can do a lot of things with these chords. We've got that written in D minor as written, we might make it a half diminished, which gives it a, an A flat and a bit more of a leading sound towards that G7, so we might do something like this, we might make it an altered chord. All of them, make them all altered chords. Um, just for for cadential purposes, you know, for for resolution and tension purposes. Whatever. But um, so that's that's one idea that we can do with that two chord. With the five chord, we generally take it from being, a, you know, just a standard dominant chord, or maybe a sus chord, a nine thirteen. Um, we can make it into um, a flat nine chord, which is a sort of gives us this diminished arpeggio. Go up a semitone from the A flat, play a diminished arpeggio. It gives us all the upper structure tones, the flat 9, the 3, uh, the 5 and the flat 7. Um, so that's, a, that's one kind of chord that leads a little bit um, with a little bit of just a touch of tension or a bit, touch more tension, a bit of um, a darker sound leading back into that um, one chord, the resolve. So we might have something like this. D minor, you know. Which just that little bit of tension. That can be a, a sound that's quite useful just that flat seven. Now on the one chord we can make it a C major but we could also look at some other um, related things, um, sounds to that C major for example E minor seven um, and E minor nine which has kind of the uh, nice upper structure tones of the C major sound so it's got the three, the five, uh, the major seventh and ninth and the sharp eleventh you know, that sound there. So we could have that instead in this progression would be something like this. nicely back to the A as well, you know, so we're leading more 2, 5, 3, 6 now in this case, uh, D minor, G7, E minor, A7. And um, the other thing we can do is we can step down from the G to, to an F, just momentarily, which moves into the E, and then move from there into an E flat instead of the A, so that's a tritone sub. Straight stuff, but we could do something like this, which is one of my favorite sort of sounds, which is just the G over the F, you know. And see, I made the minus seven into a minus seven plus six there, or half diminished as well, which again has that nicer leading sound into an A altered instead of an A minor and A altered. So now we've replaced some of these chords. We've got an altered chord, which could be well the, on the two chord. We've got a minor, minor seven, minor nine, all the obvious ones, but also we could we could do something like one of the altered sounds or half diminished on the G we could make that altered. We could look at the altered scale of course, but we could also look at um some of the um kind of more standard type sounds. Um, uh, fully diminished um, seventh chord which starts the semitone above and just moves in flat and thirds, you know that's a nice sound. Now on the one chord we could substitute that E minor sound there, altered sound. We could make the, the two a dominant chord, make them all dominant chords. Something like that, you know, so, you know, there's some different chord options. Um, I'll take you through some more in a sec.